Hey YouTube, it's Bean here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my OBS settings. If you guys are curious on how I get everything set up for stream, stay tuned and let's get right into it. Welcome to the behind the scenes of my OBS. So when I boot up my computer for the day and launch OBS, this is what it looks like. By the way, I recommend opening OBS as administrator. I had a lot of crashes when I wasn't doing that, so now I have it automatically open as an administrator. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So on the left-hand side, we have all my sources. Um, a cool tip I like to use is this little icon with the eye, so you can hide things um, as you want it to go away or appear. So right now I have my logo, my cam, my alerts, and then you can obviously stack them in terms of like priority. Sticky bomb should always be at the top for me because that's, it's a little sticker thing that needs to be on top. Um, but yeah, so we have factor sponsorship, so you can just have those wherever. But basically why, why I like to have these hidden things is like, so like if I'm gonna switch to Fortnite, I can just click that and bam, there's my creator code. And if I'm getting off Fortnite, bam, you just hide it and it's always there. Um, which is really cool. Oh, this music thing will come in handy when I go over how I split audio. Basically, we can listen to Spotify music and then it never gets uploaded to the Twitch VOD, which makes it very, the stream very fun. The sound alerts, there's just all these things that I probably won't need to go over every single thing. But I have, for streaming on TikTok, I have this vertical OBS plugin. Because I don't like to use the TikTok Live Studio, which is a completely different software because I think it's a bit extensive on the PC. I've tried to do the, the live studio, but it just doesn't work. I prefer doing it, it all from OBS. So you just need this plugin. And so what I do is you go to the vertical settings, go to streaming, and then I'll show you guys how to get the code. So what I do is I open up my TikTok. Right now it's on a Chuck and Blair edit. So I click up here, go to Live Center, not Live Studio. Um, we go here, um, go to Live Room right here. And then I have to do this every single time I wanna go live on TikTok, which is a little bit, it's just like a couple extra steps in the day, which doesn't sound like much, but like I always get a little like, uh, but it's not that bad. So all you do is press go live, you pick a title, add a topic, like Fortnite today, save and go live. So the URL is the same every time. The stream key is gonna be what generates every single time. So we're gonna grab my OBS vertical plugin. You can just Google OBS vertical plugin and download it that way. I'll copy that, oh, where'd it go? Go here. And then I just, Control V, paste that in and press OK. And then as soon as I'm ready to start it, I just press go live here, which I'm not gonna do because it's actually gonna start it. But yeah, you can see your little chat over here, which is pretty cool. And then I also go live through OBS and then bam, you have all your stuff live through OBS. So I just Googled OBS vertical plugin. You can go here. How do you down? Go to download. Oh. I mean, I already have it, so I'm gonna try not to download it. The struggles of having a VPN. Okay, so yeah, then you just go here. This, this, and this. Aha, see, I already have it. But yeah, that's how you get the vertical plugin set up. Going back to my OBS here. So the sources are for the main, my main OBS, and then the vertical sources are for this vertical plugin that I have. So for example, down here, if, I, if I'm streaming chess, I'll put that up hide that. So you can actually have different, like let's say I want to put my creator code on there. I mean, I already have it, so I'm going to actually remove that, but just showing you guys, you can add things that you already have on your main OBS. Yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory after you get all the, the codes and stuff set up. If you don't have access to the TikTok code, you may need to go through an agency. That's how I had to do it. I went through Carter Pulse. You On their Twitter page, they have a little like Google Doc for applying. You can just do it, it's really easy. I've, everyone I've told about, like they get accepted within a couple days, so you should be able to uh, get a code that way. I don't really use this scene transition thing too much. 
I do use different scenes. So for example, my full cam, I just pressed start virtual camera. Did you guys see that? So I pressed uh, start virtual camera right here. And then now I can do my full cam. <laughs> I just do this when I'm going full cam. Oh, I also assigned them to hotkeys so I can go between them. Like if I'm doing this and then chatting, I, have, I still don't have a memorized. Honestly, I should use a, um, I have a um, stream deck that I can use. But anyways, so yeah, for the chess, you I've gotten a lot of questions on how I get this to be so perfectly cropped. So what we do is first of all, we're gonna get chess.com here. Uh, make sure it's full screen exactly where you want it. And then I'm gonna show you guys my OBS. Well, it's gonna be kind of hard, but transform, edit, transform. And I just start cropping it to exactly where I want it. Um, so like the, my camera, as you can see, is one of the main sources here. And then the, use display capture as another source right here. And then I'm gonna have to move this to show you guys, but um, it looks good. Aha, see? Bada bing, bada boom, and then we can go between scenes. Um, it's really simple. I don't know if I'm like undersimplifying it. I could go into some of my sound settings. Let's do that. So I use a Wavelink. That's the type of audio mixer I have, and it comes with this software. So how I get to separate my audio tracks is first we have an input, an input. Oh, you click here to add input. So we added one for music and then this is for, this is what you hear and this is what the, the output hears. So I have this clicked mute and then obviously I don't want to hear myself. So that one's muted. The system, I don't really know what that one is. Oh, shut, I don't really know why I have that, but basically the music's the, the music is the important one here. So the monitor mix is what I'm going to hear with my ears. And since I have a, little headset, that's what I want me to hear. So I have whatever is my headset here. And then, so remember this music input, you can actually add it here. And I actually had to add this into all my sources. So when I'm full cam, chess, everything, you need to add it to, every, you need to add the source to every single one. Okay, so you go here. I think they're called audio output. Aha. Let's just pretend we're adding it. Oh no, it's right here. So you'd click that, press okay, but since I already have it right here, I don't need to add it again. But yeah, as you can see, I have it in every single scene. Otherwise it does not, um, you can't hear the music. <laughs> I've, I've switched scenes before and everyone's like, where did the music go? And I'm like, what? So yeah, make sure you have that all set up. New settings here. If you wanna separate the audio tracks, we go to output. Um, you need to check, I think, advanced something settings. Um, I don't know why it's not letting, I don't know why it's all unchecked, but you should be able to mess around with that. Oh, you know, I bet it's because I'm recording right now, so I can't, but basically you want to have your audio track set to one, because this is going to be what's uploading, um, or what's being heard on our stream, and this is going to be what's uploaded, the Twitch VOD, that's what gets uploaded, and you're going to set that to two, keep that in mind. Um, that's under output, streaming settings. And then we're gonna go to our audio mixer here and click advanced audio properties. So track one, like we said, is our what's being heard on stream, right? Um, so we need to scroll down to our music. Our music is being heard, but, and remember I said our output two is what's getting uploaded and you wanna uncheck that audio output that we created through Wavelink. I'm sure there's a way to do this even if you don't have wavelength, but since that's what I have, these are my settings. So we uncheck that. As soon as I put that back there, um, like if I left it checked, then the music would get uploaded to the VOD, which is not what I want. That's pretty much it for the audio settings. Um, I think I covered everything. I don't know, for me, OBS is just a lot about like messing around with stuff. That's how I got started with it. Just always can like, go to transform and edit transform. And if we want to crop our camera a little to the left, that's what I'll do that day, like depending on where the camera is. But I like it where it was. Um, yeah, just like you can add sources. Yeah, I think those are all my OBS settings. All right, those are all my OBS settings for streaming. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I really tried to go in depth for you guys. Um, I feel like I didn't, like it's not that much. It's actually pretty simple. 
Um, but if you guys have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. If I have to do a part two, I'm willing to do that. But for now, that's everything for this video. Um, I hope to see you guys very soon on stream and room tour coming soon. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.